Hello children. Today we are going to study the topic the president and the vice president of India. In the first chapter of civics we had studied about the union parliament. We had studied about the Lok Sabha, the Rajya Sabha, how the members are elected, what are their functions, roles, etc. Even we had studied about the role and functions of the speaker of Lok Sabha, the speaker of Rajya Sabha. In standard 9 we had studied detailed about the constitution of India elections why the elections are conducted what are the different kinds of in, in elections different types of election with reference to that in that relation only we are going to study a new chapter the president and the vice president of India this chapter mainly revolves around the role and functions tenure period, elections of the president and vice president of India. The basic information that every citizen need to know about is who is the president and vice president of India. Ramnath Kovind is the president of India and Venkya Naidu is the vice president of India. Sharing one PPT with you all, we are going to study in detail about the president and the vice president of India. In this chapter, we are going to study about the qualifications, composition of electoral college, composition means who all elect the president and the vice president of India. Reasons of the indirect election, term of the office, process of impeachment and their roles and functions. Now starting first with the qualification of India, of President of India and the Vice President of India, the basic qualification required is to be the citizen of India. If any person want to be the President or the Vice President of India, the basic qualification required is like one should be the citizen of India. Irrespective of this qualification, no one can become the President, either Vice President or the members of Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha or the Prime Minister or Council of Ministers. Second, second qualification is about the age criteria. One should complete 35 years of his age to be the President or the Vice President of India. Next, he or she should be qualified member of Lok Sabha. Next is like he should not or she should not hold any office of profit under government. Additional to this all point, one should not have any criminal record, one should not be insolvent and one should be stable with, should have, a, should not be of unsound mind. So whatever the qualifications we had studied to be the member of Lok Sabha or for Rajya Sabha are seen only age criteria, and the qualification membership of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha differs. Coming to the next point is the composition of electoral college. Now what is this electoral college means? Electoral college means it is a combination of the people or all together the people who elect the president and vice president of India. Now this electoral college consists the MPs and MLAs they also consist the members of both the houses, that is Lok Sabha as well as Rajya Sabha. Then also the members of union territories, also the members of the state legislative assemblies. So in all, in short, if we see, they, these all people are representing entire India. So all together they elect the president and vice president of India indirectly. Indirectly means this elected representatives are only going to elect the president and the vice president. Here there is no role of common public in the election of president and vice president of India. One thing that in this group, 12 nominated members of Rajya Sabha and two nominated members of Lok Sabha are in the part of this electoral college because they are appointed by the president itself. Now we have already, uh, already studied in the first chapter, this 12 nominated people or the members are those who have expertise in their knowledge, in, in their particular field, 
those who are expertise in their particular field those who have given the long uh, work working history in that particular field and two nominated in lok sabha are the one or uh, for coming from the anglo indian community in in which case if there is inadequate representation now the next point that we are going to discuss is about the elections of the president and vice president as we had studied they are elected indirectly indirectly means how the elected representatives elect the seat of president and vice president of india now why do they are elected indirectly why not directly like the prime minister children what will happen if the president or the vice president is also elected directly then what will be the difference between prime minister and president if we assume or if we just consider for a while that president is also elected directly so even he may be the mere puppet of the uh, public or of the public choice so hence we want a person who will be a nominal who will be diplomatic in, in his action he won't be in the favorism of either ruling party nor of the opposition party so we want such person to be the president and the vice president of india now suppose if the president is elected directly he can become the rival center of power of council of ministers the council of ministers in the lok sabha contains both opposition as well as ruling party so if he is elected directly there can be a conjunction there can be like surpass of the elections surpassing of the vote and this may create a lot of chaos this may create a lot of disturbance in the legislative houses so to avoid such kind of uh, situations and circumstances he is elected indirectly secondly as we know lok sabha is having upper hand over rajya sabha due to its strength so if at all if the president or vice president is elected directly it may happen or there are the chances that the ruling party or the strength of lok sabha may elect the person who is of their own choice and hence there will be no difference between the prime minister and president so to avoid again this kind of situations he is elected indirectly now we want a president who will be rep representing india as a whole not as only for a particular state not as for a particular party hence when this all collaboratively electoral college elects the president and vice president of india he represent entire nation and not a particular state or not a particular party that are the few reasons why he is elected indirectly now the term of the office president of india and the vice president of india are elected for 5 years they cannot vacate their office unless and until new president and vice president are elected so when the new president and vice president get elected and they enter the office then and then only the old president and vice president can vacate the office now actually what is the thing it's always back of our mind when we talk about indirect election rajya sabha rajya sabha tenure is 6 year and in that way children get confused that even president and vice president are elected for 6 years so this we need to be quite vigilant while answering that president and vice president are elected for the term of 5 5 years even if they are elected indirectly now who administrate oath to the president of india chief justice of india administrate the oath to the president of india for your information who is the chief justice of india it is sharad bobde he is the chief justice of india and the cji that is chief justice of india administered oath to the president of india now in case if the president or vice president want to vacate the office due to personal lapse or due to any health issues or any personal issue if they want to vacate the office they can write resignation letter so suppose if president of india want to vacate his office he will write resignation letter to vice president of india and that only if the vice president want to vacate his office he will write the resignation letter to president of india but 
if the president is guilty and if the president is not following the law and order then how he can be removed from his position so for that purpose we have the process called as impeachment now children if the ruling party is not working well what we do no confidence motion is passed right and then it is passed by two third majority and if the bill is passed by two third majority or the resolution is passed by two third majority the ruling party collapses same way if the president or the vice president or the chief justice of india or the judges of supreme court high court are found guilty on the basis of violation of uh, constitution body or if they are found incapacity or any disqualification criteria then they are impeached so what is impeachment that is removal of president vice president chief justice of india judges of supreme court and high court is called as impeachment now there is a particular procedure how this impeachment is carried out now first of all when the if there is any condition like president is found guilty or on the basis of mis uh, misbehavior or incapacity in that case this resolution will be raised in either house now suppose if it is raised in lok sabha one fourth of the total member of the house need to sign that notice that we don't want so and so president on his position or in the office due to this particular reasons now all this entire process will be conducted within 14 days now within this 14 days when the resolution is passed by the majority that is by two third majority of total member of the house the impeachment procedure is completed and then the president or the vice president are removed but prior to that when any of the house raises the bill by one fourth of total of its member the other house that means suppose if the bill is, or the resolution is raised in lok sabha rajya sabha will investigate all the charges that are claimed on the president or the vice president because as we are in democracy there is a need that every individual has a right to defend herself for himself so in that case they are supposed to get a chance to defend themselves hence the other house investigate all the charges that are claimed on that particular person that is president or vice president once the charges are proved correct on the basis of evidence then by the two third majority the president or the vice president is impeached so this is called as the process of impeachment thank you in the next in the next video we will be discussing about the functions role of president and vice president thank you